Hi one, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Didimas brother has been eyeing the Bungoma gubernatorial seat to take over after Msaka has finished his second term in office. And the easiest way he strategized and realized that he can get this seat, it was by moving from UDA party to Ford Kenya party. Because he has been studying the ground and uh, Definitely, the most popular party in Bungoma is Ford Kenya. So, this was also evidently clear during the Bungoma senatorials by election. Remember, UDA party filled a candidate, Mwabu Magonga, with a former member of parliament. And uh, we also had Malimu Wakole. Didi Matsbaratha came out strongly to support the Ford Kenya candidate. He campaigned to the last minute and he said that he was instructed by William Samai Ruto to support the Ford Kenya candidate. And of course, they won that election overwhelmingly. <laughs> Remember, Wakoli was for the first time vying for an elective seat before he was just to a Tangola's um, assistant, uh, personal assistant. But Mamu Mawonga, he was already serving as a member of parliament. So with that win, Didmas brother definitely, he was fully in Ford Kenya party. But going by the latest emerging events in Bungoma, it is clear that UDA is looking for a candidate to challenge the Ford Kenya candidate who might be Didmas brother and whoever will be vying maybe from the Azmio side. And then we can see as of late, the former um, Bungoma governor, Wangamati, was at State House with Kilefas Malala, that's in Nairobi. Then, as of late, when Ruto was in the Western region, he also met with William Ruto and the UDA party Secretary general, Kilefas Malala, in Kakamega State Lodge. And this is what Malala had to say. This afternoon, UDA party leader, President William, Ru William Samuel Ruto, had a length meeting with the former Bungoma governor, Honorable Wycliffe Wangamati, and I at Kakamega State Lodge. We deliberated on, a strategic, on a strategies upon which the party can strengthen its foothold in the Western region as UDA seeks to meet its 15 million registered members target. Kazi Nikazi, UDA Communications. They are deliberating on strengthening on a strategy upon which party can strengthen its footholds in Western. That means Wangamati is going to be the point man in Bungoma. So going with this, it means definitely Wangamati is dumping or moving from DAPK to UDA party. So the question is, eh, what next for Didmas brother or what does William Ruto mean this for Didmas brother? Before we continue this discussion, just a quick request for those who are watching and uh, you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel subscribers. I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, definitely, if you talk about Bungoma politics, the only person who has ever won the Bungoma gubernatorial seat without necessarily using Ford Kenya Party or Wetangona is the first governor of Bungoma, Ken Makelo Lusaka. In 2013, Lusaka vied for Bungoma gubernatorial seat on New Ford Kenya party. The party leader alikuwa none other than Eugene Wamalwa. And that was under the umbrella of Amani, Amani coalition. That means that party was also supporting Musala Mudabad the candidature of 2013 as a presidential candidate. Remember Mudabad was vying on UDF ticket. So that was the coalition. And the Makelo Lusaka won the election in Bungoma without Watangula because Watangula by then was in code coalition supporting 
Kaila Odinga. So this is the only person who has won without Wetangola input. <laughs> so, Ford Kenya had a candidate, Alianguka. TNA party had a candidate, Alianguka. And uh, the other part was uh, Ford Kenya UDF, a candidate, New Ford Kenya. Yeah, those are the candidates there. So after this, Wetangola went to Black Weekly Fuangamat. So remember, Wangamat was not a politician, but the father, of course, is a politician. So Wetangola went for Wangamat, who is a technocrat, just like the Kakamega governor, Fender's brother, a technocrat. So with all this, Wangamati won the election in Bungoma through Wetangola and Ford Kenya party. Then after they differed in attempted coups in Ford Kenya, he was drawn out and then Lusaka was brought in. So through Ford Kenya party again, Lusaka won. So Didi Masparada is banking on Ford Kenya party. They have an agreement with Wetangola. But Ruto is now bringing in the former governor to challenge him on New Ford Kenya, not New Ford Kenya, on UDF party. So what next for Didi Masparada? How will he make it? The reality is that Ruto is launching a fight on Didimas brother, a man who has been with him. So it means even if you are a friend William Samuel Ruto, the moment you get out, you become his enemy. So Didimas brother has become the target of William Ruto. Because the question would be, if Wetangola is still there, New Ford, uh, Ford Kenya party is still there. Why go for someone to challenge the Ford Kenya candidate, a person who has been working with them? That means... He's going for Didimas Barada. So Didimas Barada has to prepare. In as much as going to run for that city, has to prepare for a serious fight with the former Bungoma governor. Because it's a former governor. It means he has a network on the ground. He has all the connection. Then the UDA blessing, the campaign money will be there. So he has to prepare very well. But then, who can win this election? Didimas Barada and the uh, Wangamati. They can easily win and they can easily lose. All of them have a chance to win. Why? Didimas brother want to use two things for the Kenya network and the Wetangula. Definitely for the Kenya has been ruling Bungoma. So Wetangula name has been there. It is easy to sell your candidate in Bungoma using Wetangula name. That's the truth. Go and check Ford Kenya uh, um, Ford Kenya is commanding in terms of members of parliament. They have the majority. UDA has several members of parliament, but Ford Kenya has the majority. Number two, for you to win the gubernatorial seat, you need to have a good number of MCS on your side. If you go to Bungoma, Ford Kenya has the majority in terms of MCS. And this is what made Manila introduced Kakamega gubernatorial seat. There was no enough serious members of parliament who were on his side. All of them were with the Fernandez Baraza. So Baraza, who was not a politician, just a technocrat. Alikuja, Akashinda, yeye. There was no serious MCS when you were elected who was supporting Malala. So because of that, he did not have serious people to campaign for him. But for the as Baraza, he has that already because he is heading to Ford Kenya party. So his chances are there to win the election. Then development record. Ukitoa mamba ya hii sanakasi zake na kupiga watu mamba ya kusika kwa mawaji kwa mamba ya maendeleo ako sawa. That one we cannot debate. Check on schools, he's number one. He's doing good. You check on the area development, he is working for the people. With that one, we cannot say that it must be rather funny because he or anafana. Lakini, cases of a wine that is a guinea, 
hizo ndio zinamwaribia jina tu then you come to lusaka Definitely, the project that Ruto was opening in Bungoma zilifanywa na Wycliffe Wangamati. Nilisema ni sakramento la saka. Wycliffe Wangamati. Yeye ndiye alijenga hiyo county hall ya Ruto ameenda kufungua zile hospitali tu maana Ruto akifungua huko yeye ndiye amejenga. Ile miradi ya Ruto ameenda kulaunch huko definitely zote ni za Wycliffe Wangamati. Hata nashangaa kwa nini Wangamati anaenda kwa UDA. Kwa nini haka kaa kwa DPK party because he has his network then you just buy we should have did my brother because another challenge that comes in is that DPK is going to field another candidate so lazima akuwe na candidate remember wako na natembea kula alishinda kura so there are chances for so here and if you DPK party is going to field a candidate that means that candidate is going to struggle to take some votes from Wangamati zile alipata za DPK they will struggle with that one then Wangamati akuja anza kustruggle na zingine huko so Wangamati has two people to fight DPK candidate and then did mas barada he has a chance but he has to fight two people did mas barada is just fighting to get what lusaka got so that's what i can say about this emerging uh, current political situation in this country but again we are seeing William Ruto as a man who can easily betray you <laughs> he is a revengeful person also so he is revengeful because he must brother moved away from UDA but again he is trying to force this other political party to lead into one political party he want to merge all the parties in the western region but will it work then there's no for the Kenya will not march and is not going to march what made him the prime cabinet secretary it is ends party what about wetangula remove for Kenya he cannot be the speaker so they will not allow this to happen unless otherwise